Hello, my name is Isaac and welcome back. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody that's clicked subscribe. If this is your first video, then hello, thank you. And if this is you just coming back, then welcome back. <laughs> I, uh, I I never thought that I would be able to get to uh, to 70 subscribers. And <laughs> yeah, I, I did not expect it to happen overnight. That was, that was very quick. So thank you to everybody that's clicked subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has left support on the videos and things like that I appreciate all of it it's, it's very nice to get some feedback and uh, I am sorry if you've watched that video <laughs> the, the one that uh, the one that like got over 4,000 views on my channel I, uh, yeah I made a mistake with that one anyway I am very very good at procrastinating and I've been procrastinating and trying to forget about this barn for ages I want to finish it I want to do stuff inside it because there's a lot I've got planned for it the only issue is I cannot figure out where I'm going to put half the stuff. I was, was going to do a third person time lapse, but I can't because if you do a time lapse, you need to kind of get it all done in one big go. And I'm not ready to, to do it in one big go. I need to work out exactly what I'm going to happen. I guess there's there's nothing really left to say, but, uh, but let's get straight into it, I suppose. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Wait right there. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need to put him in a little glass cage or something. I'm so happy. <laughs> Ow! Eric bites. Careful. <laughs> I'm so happy. I really wish you could see his name tag. Hey, Eric. The last thing that we need. There we go. Eric Endermite. Caution. Eric will bite. He's only playing. I really wish you could see his name tag, but at least we got a friend. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's get back to work. Yeah, I quite like that, actually. I'm going to do it all the way around, and then it's going to come up to here as well, so you have access to this area. That was quite a lot of wood, actually. That was three stacks of planks already. I've made, I've turned them into slabs. I think it looks better just from the underneath as well. It just gives that kind of look as if it is planks as opposed to full meter by meter blocks goodbye and there we go i've got everything filled out hopefully it it seems to look all right i think it looks okay it's not perfect but i like to work on things gradually i don't like to get it all done in one go because sometimes you think of really good ideas as you go and if you've already done it you you're less likely to actually go back and do it again but you can get all the way up to the top this would be where you'd bring in all of the uh, all of the stuff so I'm quite happy with it actually. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Staircase looks a bit strange, but I think once we get everything filled out and all of the sheep in there, and then we've got like the trading hall in the middle. I need to dig an area underneath as well. I've got a little idea. I'm going to try and do a uh, an infection room. <laughs> I'm going to try and make it myself. I've never made one before. Uh, I've done it. I've done it using a tutorial. But I'm gonna try and completely do my own my own way of doing it and just see what happens. So, and I did actually get you may see a zombie. It's a bit shiny. He naturally spawned and then started walking up behind me to try and attack me. So I popped him in a boat because I need an infection chamber. I'll probably put a name on him anyway for the fun of it because I've got six name tags left even after naming Eric. So <laughs> I love that name. So I probably I probably do that name him and uh, and then I've got him. He won't go away. And also he'll have a pretty name. So at least then I can put it in there. So if we're going to make an infection chamber and move all the villagers and stuff down here. I'll probably do that in between episodes. Because my god does it take a long time to move villagers. I hate it. So I'll probably do that in between episodes. So if we're going to be infecting the villagers using the zombies. We're going to need lots of gold. Because we need golden apples. I've got quite a bit of gold. But not enough to constantly be refreshing these trades. So... I think next episode we'll be heading into the nether and uh, trying to get onto the nether roof to build a gold farm. It won't be the biggest gold farm, but I'll probably build it in sections. So I'll build like a quarter of it, maybe half of it, and then at a later date I can always build the other half. So I've done a little bit more work and I quite like it actually. It's not the greatest, but I'm pleased with it nonetheless. Got some grass to put in there. I uh, made him a new cage. Let's go and say hi. Hello, out. Yeah, Eric still bites, but we made him a cage. We got this guy. I'm going to give him a name. I haven't quite thought about what name I've got going to give him yet, but we'll figure it out. 
If you've got a suggestion, leave it in the comments and I might be tempted to choose it. This is kind of like the sorting system, not the sorting system, but the storage system I want. I was going to have like hoppers and minecarts and all sorts of different things, but I think for the time being, I'm quite happy with this. I might extend the walls out one more block um, just to make it look like it's actually sort of doing this. I might make it into a big kind of square rather than just having a lot of empty space. It will go all the way to the top. It's just, believe it or not, this was about eight stacks of logs. I've used almost all of my reserve wood. I've literally, I think I've got about half a stack of logs left. <laughs> and I had two shulker boxes before I started building this barn. So I've definitely used a lot. I've got all of the pens ready. And I've put a little post there. And this is essentially to stop, as far as I'm aware, to stop the sheep from eating the last grass block. Because if you move all the grass blocks, grass can't grow, grow again. But if you put a fence post on top of it, I don't think they can eat it, but it can still spread to the other blocks. So, in theory, it should work, hopefully. We'll, we'll figure it out once we get some sheep in, but I need to I need to do all that between episodes. So, anyway, unfortunately, out. Unfortunately, that's all i got time for today, but I really do appreciate you watching the video. If you've liked it, then be sure to let me know. If you've got any suggestions of things you want to see or anything you want me to uh, help you with, then I'm more than happy. Just let me know. And uh, goodbye. So this video is quite short, but <laughs> there's nothing really that interesting about building a barn. I've done my best to make it as interesting as possible, but hopefully you can enjoy these clips of me and my brother playing Gmod instead. Is everything still a thingy for you? You what? It's hey Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Resistance is useless, Barnacle Man! You. <laughs> <laughs> no! Age old test number one. Orbital strike versus Kermit the Frog with a shield. <laughs> oh my god, it is! It's doing it! I'll be a no then. <laughs> Myth busted. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, goodbye.